y'all and welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome my name is marissa and i am so glad that you guys stopped by for today's video i am sharing with you a couple of dinners that we had this week a couple that we had at home and then at the end of the video we went to a local mexican restaurant to celebrate my niece's birthday so I, i'm sharing a little bit of that a few clips from that with you guys but this first meal is homemade toquitos i think i'm saying that right and very simple very easy i'm making some spanish rice in my rice cooker and then i take a jar of my homemade pinto beans put them in this glass bowl with some taco seasoning and then i'm going to use the immersion blender to get them very very smooth and i have almond i think they're almond flour tortillas i think that's what they were called that you you keep them in the freezer or refrigerator until you're ready for them and that's what i used as tortillas and it was really really good so i put the um bean mixture my husband is cutting up a poblano one that we grew in our garden and i'm going to use that and then some cheese and i'm just going to roll them up and put them in the air fryer and this actually turned out to be really really delicious short time to begin with because I didn't know how long it was going to take to bake them but I ended up adding five minutes to this so I baked them in the air or fried them in the air fryer for 10 minutes flipped them over and did it for another four minutes and then they were perfect
Now this meal that we had on this evening, I always forget about this. It's something that I used to make when our kids were, when we were homeschooling our kids, I would do just the noodle part for lunch. And then over the years, I started adding things to it. And so I, we just call this grilled chicken with broccoli and noodles. They're Amish noodles is what we call them. And so what I'm doing right now, my husband cut up the chicken, he butterflied it for me. And then I have a little, um, McCormick season, uh, season pack where you add the olive oil, water, and vinegar to it. And so I'm going to let the chicken marinate for about 30 minutes. Overnight is great, but all I had was about 30 minutes. And then um, when I'm ready to start cooking, I do the noodles first. And so with that, I, um, I'll show you, I'll tell you, tell you a little bit more about that when we get to it. So I'm getting ready to start the noodles and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to brown a stick of butter in a, a pot that's big enough to put your whole meal in. This is a, it ends up being a one pot meal, but you, I still use the grill and microwave, but anyway, so I'm going to melt my butter and I'm going to let it get brown. You want to watch this because it can go too far and burn, but once the um, butter is brown, then I'm going to add water and some um, chicken bouillon. I think with my 12 ounce pack of noodles, I used one stick of butter and four cups of water with one tablespoon of chicken bouillon. And then you're gonna bring your water to a bowl and then put your noodles in, bring it back up to a bowl. And that's when you turn your eye off, put the lid on it so that it nothing steams out of it. And you're just gonna leave it for 20 to 30 minutes until your noodles are done. Do not take the lid off for at least 20 minutes. And um, cause your eye is off and it's just gonna, you know, steam the noodles done. But while that is going on, while you're waiting on your noodles to finish, that's when I start my chicken on the grill. And you're gonna grill your chicken. I use, um, I take a chicken breast and we cut them in half so it doesn't take as long. And then I have a microwave bag of broccoli that I put in the microwave. And then once everything is done, you chop up your chicken into bite-sized pieces. And then you put everything in the pot with the noodles. Um, I use a little bit of Mrs. Dash to season it. And then, like I said, this is one of our favorite meals. And I always forget about it, but it's really, really good.